I could be wrong with my categorization, but when I saw this, I initially thought, oh, this woman watches Manifest Elf. <laughs> And I mean that the nicest way possible, but I thought it was interesting. And again, it lacks nuance, so it is what it is. But look at this stitch, and then we'll watch the original video. Red flags in girls, if she's over the age of like 25, but she's at a club. Hey girl, I was just checking in to see if he ever saw this video and ended up picking you. I was just wondering if he picked you yet. Let me know. Keep us updated, babes. So then she has, her, this is her original video. Okay, so this girl Olga made a video and it's red flags and women. The other girl stitched shit and said, wonder if he ever picked you girl, just checking. So then in my head, there's two kinds of women that call women pick me's. Women that are accurate and you are a pick me or women that are actually insecure and they actually do hate women, but mostly they hate themselves. So they hate women who have any kind of standard. So is she a woman? who genuinely is a pick me or is that other woman the insecure woman who's just mad at seeing any woman with standards because honestly standards are different for everybody so my standards are not good enough for other people's standards your standards aren't good enough for me the point is everybody's got a standard so the other girl calls this girl a pick me so i went to her original video check it out what do we think girls if she's over the age of like 25 but she's at a club multiple times a week red flag okay do we agree with that if she's over the age of 25 and she's at a club multiple times a week. Do we think it's a red flag? I think it's an orange flag for my lifestyle. But 25 is still pretty young. I would say if she's over over 30 and still at the club multiple times a week, red flag. But I would say in your 20s, I'm gonna give you leniency to be at the club until you're in your 30s. What do you guys think? Red flags are not universal. Red flags are situational. They're for you. What I think is a red flag isn't what you necessarily think is a red flag. So I think club, like go clubbing throughout your 30 or 20s, have fun. But if I see somebody clubbing in their 30s, it's like a red flag for me and my lifestyle, but not in a moralizing way. I'm not moralizing it. I'm just saying like not my lifestyle. Like I don't want to go to the club in my 30s. I want to stay at home in my PJs and watch anime. So I would say orange flag in your 20s, late 20s, red flag for your 30s. For me. She's gotten with your homies, red flag. If her She's gotten with your homies. So this would be to a guy. So she's a girl who slept with your friends. Could be a red flag unless you're in like a polyamorous queer circle. So if you're queer, well, everyone's gonna sleep with your friends because like everybody sleeps with everybody. If you're in a polyamorous or open relationship circle, people will be fucking people. But if you're in more of a monogamous culture, maybe that would be a red flag. Like I definitely would feel weird if I had slept with my husband's friends. Like that would have been really weird. Like I don't wanna sleep with them. I don't want any association with them. Like I am not, I don't, I wouldn't wanna be that kind of girl. And I probably wouldn't wanna date a woman or man who was that kind of girl. But then I'm in a queer bubble, so it's like a different. So I would say red flag definitely depends depending on the culture. And I would say green flag if you're in polyamorous or queer circles because like everybody's sleeping with everybody. Okay, next, if her IG page looks like she's in a new country every single week. Her Instagram page looks like she's in a new country every single week and you can tell it's definitely not for work, red flag. Okay, you can tell it's definitely not for work. Um, I would agree with this, right? Like if, you, why are you in a, who, what normal person, common person, not normal, but common, what common person is in a new country every week and it's not for work or your daddy's money? Now, it could be, it probably is, maybe some sort of sex worker, sugar baby, which isn't a bad thing, but could be a red flag for a more common person. But if you're a sex positive person and you're a sex worker, well, not a big deal, right? Because again, nobody, no one, no common person gets to fly to countries once a year, let alone every week, and it not be because work is paying for it. You've been in a relationship with her for a long time and she refuses to post you online and kind of acts single, red flag. Yeah, like if your partner is ashamed of you, is hiding you, isn't telling people about you, if people like my still pinned comment on Twitter is my marriage dress. My like pinned comment on Instagram is like my wedding post because for me, like I want people to know I'm married. I wear my wedding ring in my OF shoots because like I'm not trying to hide that I'm married. Like the last thing I will do is pretend I'm not married. Like I'm not playing that game with nobody. But there are people who would like pretend they're not married and that's a huge red flag to me. Why are you pretending like you're not in a relationship with somebody? But at the same time, and this is different, you might have a private partner. So I have one single post of my partner well, two on Instagram, partially his arm is showing and partially his shadow or not partially, but his shadow is showing because he's a very private person. And those are the only posts. Like I don't post my partner on the internet because he doesn't want to be on the internet. That's his decision. That's not up to me. That's up to him. And I respect his consent. But like, if I was trying to hide that I was in a relationship with him, uh, red flag. They still keep in contact with guys that they've been intimate with or guys that they have dated that. Okay. 
So dating a woman who hasn't been in contact with her exes. So you guys know I'm not in contact with my exes. I'm not interested in knowing my exes. Lots of people who say, oh, I'm still in contact with my ex. There's two categories. The category in which they're not actually in contact with their ex. They're just like once a year might say hi to them or somewhat knows them. Or two, you're on again, off again with your ex or you're trying to be weird about it or you're holding on to it. Or it depends on the bubble because if you're gay, like again, in the queer bubbles, I feel like everybody's friends with their exes. So it's different. So again, it depends on the bubble. But if you're not like um, for me, Brittany, I don't stay in contact with any of my exes regardless of gender. Just because when I date people, I go very in. Like I'm very in. So the breakups were like they needed to break up. Like we would not be good as friends. You feel me? So personally, uh, kind of agree with this, but could depend on the bubble, right? If she's on a private jet every weekend to a new city or country, yeah, red flag. Like and comment for part two. Bye. Um, I think she said that twice. Did she say that twice? If she's in a new city or red flag, new city or private jet. Oh, she's on a private jet every weekend to a new city or country. Yeah, why you on a private jet, girl? Who you know? All of these feel like reasonable red flags. So what is this girl doing, right? She's insecure, right? Like, I'm, am I categorizing her correct? Like, she's not a pick me, bro. This video has 400,000 likes because when she did speaking down on young women enjoying their lives as a way of seeking male validation become cute. Um, what? This one says 41 single and child free and just got home from the club, just living my best life. That's fine, but that means you're not dating. This girl's uh, video was about red, dating. Red Flags in Olga is about dating tips, dating advice. The video is about relationships. So if you're 41 and single and clubbing, she's not talking about you. Why, do, why does everyone make it about them? She's literally not talking about you. Okay, if you go to the comments, she said traveling frequently is a red flag. Me at 36 years old running up and down with my red flag in hand because girl, please. She didn't say traveling is a red flag. Are these people all illiterate? She didn't say traveling is a red flag. She said being in a new country every week is a red flag. I'm sorry, are you traveling and not for work? Specifically not for work. She did not say traveling is a red flag. Like, isn't that an inter Like people cannot fucking listen, bro. That's so interesting. I'm 32 years old, my knees and feet and back hurt, but I'm still going out at the club and having a good time. Cool. You're probably not wifey material or if you're wifey material, you're wifey material in a different bubble. Like maybe you're in a bubble where clubbing in your 30s is normal. That's cool. Nobody I know would be at the club over 30. That is not a thing you do as you get older. But if you do do that in your bubble, that's fine. But see how we're talking about different bubbles? It's just so interesting. I'm like, they're like, I'm in my 30s and 40s. I just want to have fun. I know. But if you want to have fun, then she's not talking to you. I'm going to Greece next year for my 30s. I definitely plan on drinking and partying and going out. Let us girls have fun. She's not talking about you. Like, she's not talking about you, you know? Sage says, red flag, I'd be suspicious of financial neglect. That's what I'm saying, girl. How you out every weekend at a new country? Are you a millionaire? Most people can only afford one vacation a year. How, if, if you're lucky. If you're lucky, how are you at a country, at a different country every week and it's not even for work? Are you putting it on a credit card? Do you have money? Are you bad with money? That's what I'm saying. Isn't that interesting when people hear things? They just like, she's not talking about traveling, sis. Like she's literally talking about something so different. I think people are also just like so bad with money. They don't even understand like you having fun is just like financially irresponsible, but you do you, right? I'm, fa I'm fascinated, you know? Fishy says, I low-key side-eye women who use pick me so casually screams pick me to me. Why do you need to delineate yourself from some rando girl like that? Well, that's why I say there's two types of girls that call each other like pick me. One, it's accurate and you actually are pick me by categorization and I'm saying that like an autist with no judgment. Or you're a girl who actually is upset about not being picked so you pretend you're not upset about it. That's why I think it's a red flag when that Mormon girl, remember the Mormon girl we reviewed? She was like, I have all this love to give and I want to give it to a partner. Again, you're revolving your whole life around a romantic partner and that just makes no sense to me. Maybe you're having a completely different biological experience. Like you might just be having a completely different biological experience experience in which you will never be fulfilled unless you have a partner which again as a philosophy girly just makes no sense to my brain because that's saying like you don't understand that you are a living organism within the world and you profoundly exist like you are literally like magic and may not to get too woo woo but you are literally alive on a planet floating in space and you think a romantic partner is m more fulfilling than that realization cool Love that for you. But also, I just feel like that's not gonna make you happy, girl. In my head, in real 
I fall in bed, my belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah. I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Then